Hey YouTube, how you guys doing out there in the community? I'm Mark here with my brother Paul. Uh, welcome to our channel. <laughs> YouTube, welcome to our channel, T A N C O, uh, Tyson Company. We'd like to welcome you back to another video. What we got for the people today? Uh, we got a little quick video for you, it won't be too long. We'll have a quick recap of the conference championship that just ended, what, not too long ago? Yeah, yeah, just finishing up. Um, unfortunately, you, know, you won't be giving me 30 push ups, uh, nah, and neither Jeez. will you, so um. Looks yeah. like we might have to wait another two weeks for Super Bowl. You can think that Chiefs defense. I mean, you can think whatever happened in that Saints game. Oh, the refs. Come on, that was a that was a <laughs> they had a couple makeup call on that game. Makeup call, that, yeah, man. They missed that face mask on on golf. It hit my homie so no, hard. He threw three <laughs> yards out of bounds. We'll bring that up. We'll bring that up. But that let's talk about the Chiefs and the uh, Patriots game. What's your, what's your take on that? So for as you guys, if you guys saw our last video, uh, we had a little wager, um, and who what teams that we took. I had the Patriots because well, I don't go against Tom Brady, and he had the Chiefs. Um, once again, uh, oddly, the Patriots defense was actually looking pretty decent, and they were amazing at first. Yeah, half. they they didn't look too bad. They you know um, kind of uh, held um, Mahomes within the pocket. He really couldn't move the ball all that well. Um, so it was the second half where the Chiefs kind of came alive, but the the defense for the Chiefs was pretty bad. It almost seemed like they couldn't stop the run as almost. usual. They, um, they, they they couldn't. They could not that, stop the run. What's kind of ironic because like the picture of the old team, the Chiefs were the younger guys and it took them forever to warm up. Like, hey, to get the whole like first half. Bill Belichick, you talking about? And they probably had some. Uh, I don't know. I give the Chiefs credit though. They figure it out. You know, second half, Patrick Mahomes, man, that kid amazing. No, that kid's, kid's amazing, amazing, but once again, like, amazing it's not play. like it's basketball. You don't get a, a best four out of seven. You get that one game, so everything has to be on point. So sometimes you fall behind. You might get lucky and come back, but with the Patriots, sometimes it just doesn't happen like that. And they did come back. They did. They <laughs> should have won. All they had to do to get one stop at the end of regulation, they couldn't happen. Get another stop, and over time, couldn't happen. But... They gave up, you know. You know, next year, like I said, that team they'll be back. You just gotta work on that oh, defense. Definitely. Oh, definitely. But like I said, being the fact that they have a lot of young guys on the offensive end, they're real big key weapons that they might not have to really pay like that. They should have plenty of cap um for defense. And mm -hmm. even uh, you know, then you probably work with the picks that you have if yeah. they get yeah. guys on the defensive end. Yeah, probably work on that secondary. That defensive line is pretty good. Oh, yeah. they, they led the league in the sacks. The sacks, right. So you work on that secondary. Um. Yeah, and the Patriots, like I said, Tom Brady, the, the man's supposed to be done. You know, like he, this game he was exactly amazing. I, I feel but like when he counted, like he just kept not, yeah, first yeah. down, first down, first down, slant. That was, that was a man, man. That that dude is amazing. The man's a workhorse. Yeah, you know, like always oh, clutch, just clutch. So you were gonna, uh, you wanna tell Tom Brady, uh, sorry for, for what? I never said he was done. For going, no, nah, no, nah, nah, so that for going against, against him. No, nah, mm -hmm. I see. Sorry, it's Bill Belichick for uh, for going against him. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sony Michel. He had a great game. Thank also. you. I, I did. I did say that. Running back, um, you know, he he. And four, he's young. four rushing touchdowns for the Patriots. Uh, team look. Like I said, I don't know if it was the offense that looked that good or more so the Chiefs defense that looked so bad. Um, the Chiefs Chief defense has been inconsistent all year. So, so as you guys already know, uh, New England took that game 37-31. Uh, to 31. So that was our, that was actually the second game. But we saved that one, we went with that one first because the other one I felt like probably had a bigger controversy in the second game. So... Would you see in the second game that, you know, um, or the first game? In the first game, the Rams won 26-23. Mm -hmm. But what did you see in the first game that you made that you know, made you feel like the Rams kind of they, they uh, came out with the outcome of the W? Second game, I actually thought it was going to be a higher scoring game. 
Depending on 26, 23, it's, it's pretty high. Uh, yeah, but I, they did win two overtime. Like I said, I thought no, it was going to be like... Because I, I, I feel like that game was more defensive-based. Until like the but six, once again, I feel like quarter, because of those two teams, because the offenses are so good, sometimes we forget that those defenses but the, are pretty the good. The since rushing defense, they proved that they are the truth. Right, they the have a really defense. good rushing defense. And the, the Rams, unfortunately, Ty Gurley, I think it's 100%. No, you can tell he's like not. Nah, he's, he's, not he's, he's, he's just out there. Like, like you can just call the guy. Last was it? Last uh, um, on our last video, you called him the best running back in the league. He, There's no way opinion, he's the best running back. In the league. Right? He's not healthy. And how many attempts did he have this game? Yeah, it's not healthy. I know he's not healthy. What, what's what, what I'm saying? Do? That's what I'm saying. So you, you can think, tell. You think CJ Anderson that's not what I'm saying. You're not so, letting me finish. What I'm saying is, okay. you can tell by the amount of attempts that he got, the way that they ran the ball, they look like they went to CJ more. You can tell that he's not 100. Mm -hmm. So yes, but that doesn't prove that he's not. You know, no, 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 I know, I, yeah, like, yeah. As a but like I said, that's another debate for another day because he's still, whether healthy or not, I still got somebody else above him as you know, best running back in the league. So, yeah. um, how many do you have above them? How many? Mm -hmm. Um, I want to say one, okay, I want to say one. Um, I mean, I think he's number one, you think he's. I'll give you I feel like there's, there's some other guys that I think, but I don't feel like they've been there long enough or they don't have the, the same amount of, um. Uh, that same record that he has to be like, mm -hmm. okay, that guy could be yeah, a number two or something, it. right? Yeah. But I think as of right now, I only have one person that might be above Todd Gurley. Uh -huh. But that's not the argument. <laughs> yeah, well, so... What well, uh, we're talking about, um, yeah, is... Uh, I'm going to take with that game, Jared Goff for the Rams. He played pretty good. You know, yeah, like no. the, 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 the Rams rushing, I mean, the Saints rushing defense was amazing, so he had to make plays, and he did. Unfortunately for him, also like the Rams had a drop in this game. Yeah, they so if it wasn't for that, yeah, like who knows? Like the, know. they look. I don't know if it was because of the the the, um, the where they played at. But some of these guys are kind of nerve wracking. Some of the balls that they were dropping, it just yeah, some, yeah. yeah especially yeah. the young team. Like that's what I thought with the Chiefs when I first the first half. I was like, yo, they just look like they just not ready for the stage yet. But yeah, um, and also for the Saints. I mean, for the Rams, the defense. Defense stepped up, make a big interception, make a big play. Fowler, our last video I see was just a guy. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, he just some dude, like, right there, right? Like, not a big deal. And he came up, he made a big play. Nah, nah. So, been, and Aaron Donald. Ooh, what a player. Well, we, oh, we my goodness. We'd be here talking. We got <laughs> like another video. Amazing, man. Amazing. But, uh, yeah, scratch all that. I don't think nobody cares about this because we're not talking about the big picture of this game. That big controversy that, the big that, is that the Rams are going to the Super Bowl. That's that's the picture. Yeah, so we're yeah. not going to talk about the fact that there was a complete blown pass interference call at the end of the game. Okay. How about the complete blown face mask? Uh, I, I'm I, I don't see anybody. And, and how about the in overtime they got the ref called the pass interference on the on the Rams and that was like a phantom call. And where, right, no, no, that, 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 like, that, that last like, call was a bad yeah, call. That almost that? looked like it was a makeup call for the fact that they missed that pass. In fact, they gave a call, call and the Saints didn't capitalize. You know? What? Hey, how, how much more chance Are you need? hearing what you're saying right now? Yeah. Hey. The, the refs need to do their first job. job. The refs need to do their job. Refs need to do their job. They missed calls. Like, I get it. They're human. I have to go back and see how severe it was. It was a bad call. It was a bad call, but they didn't lose the game because of that one. And here's how you know it was bad. I think the guy um, who committed the call that wasn't called, I think his name is Coleman. Um, Reps. Is it Coleman? What? I think it was Robbie. 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 Rob something Coleman. Nicole Robbie. Something like that. Uh, yeah. um, but, but his, uh, I think his name was hyphenated, which is like, it's yeah, yeah, no confusing. It's, it's, um, but reporters actually went into the locker room at the end of the game and they asked him. They actually showed him a video of that play. And he looked at the, he told the reporter straight up that, yeah, that was pretty bad. That's a pass interference. So if you I mean, when you when you on the field doing no because I've seen plenty of guys fast. I've seen plenty of guys who commit will, stuff and they'll try to show it to you and like oh man that does it pretty bad but like I said that was a bad call I can't argue that but I I didn't lose a game because of that one call they didn't lose a game but it was the end of the game that was a that was a game time thing um that that would have gave them more downs because pass interference is automatically yeah if they, first down. If they called that game over pretty much because all they got to do is run out the clock exactly get field goal. You know, so, but like I said, they didn't lose the game. You still have chances to come back and win the, the game. game. I, I don't know. 
So that that to me is a uh, I don't know. Some of these just can't happen. There's reporting that the NFL is supposed to come out and a um, I guess address the situation and supposed to they're supposed to admit to it that they actually did blow some calls, especially that one. But Mike's gonna be at and just we're gonna celebrating. <laughs> you don't care. Yeah. So, but the thing the thing with that is you we're in a time now where there's instant replay everywhere. There's so much technology, cameras, it's everywhere. So even if the if the NFL doesn't catch it on their camera, somebody's in the stands, they probably caught it on their camera. So we're just at that um, point in life now where you just can't really get away with anything. So the fact that it's, a, it's the NFL, the fact that they couldn't go and then just check. I know that there's, probably, there's, there's rules for that and they probably can't do that, but I think the NFL should look into changing that. Especially in a situation like that, yeah. So you ain't changing what? Like you mean go back and go and being able to go back? Because I know they didn't want to do it before because of like time. They felt that if they was able to use instant replay to a point where they would check everything, that the games would expand. And the games would just be they too did. long. Oh, I mean, instant replay check, check. Yeah, it check it something like first. right, right, like that. Oh, uh, so yeah, in uh, a situation uh, like that, uh, they didn't go back and check miss it. Call. You miss call. It happens. You do miss man. calls, but what we're saying is this is uh this is a big time company. Some stuff like that it just can't happen, especially at the uh, end of the listen, game. Listen, man, like, you trying to sit here and watch like every little knickknack thing get reviewed, bro? It well, happened. In, what, it, it happened, happened in a referee's face. There's a referee on the side. Okay, he saw it. He didn't call it, so he's gonna go to the thing and go like, uh, maybe I should call it. Like he didn't call it. It's right. Over. But what I'm saying is. You can have referees on the field. If they miss a call, you can have somebody else somewhere else saying, hey, this call was missed. Mm -hmm. Let's take this back. And that happens sometimes. Sometimes, like, the referee, they'll come together on the field. they have, like, I'm, a little huddle and be like, yo, you missed that I'm call. I'm not talking about the referees in the field. I'm talking about they can have somebody in a booth somewhere else looking mm -hmm. at the at the replays. Just like when we're at home and you get so a replay, they they they, they, like, they don't do that for pass interference, but they do that for like uh you know interception. Right, touchdown, exactly. Like that. well, that's what I'm saying. But like I said, we're they not should... trying to sit here and watch like every little thing get reviewed. We don't have to do it, but they can. But they can from instant. We would never even listen, know. Never, Just like the instant replay would never get done. It's not. It would still get done the same way we're sitting at home, right? For example, we're sitting at home and an instant replay comes up on the screen. Mm -hmm. It would just be another referee sitting in their own booth. The same way we see the instant replay, they would see the instant replay. Mm -hmm. So when they see the instant replay, he can call down on the field and say, hey, this is a huge call that you guys missed. What are we going to do about this? Um, now, I'm not saying they have to do it exactly that way, but I think that there's something that should be done about it. A game that that's big to the point where this is going to be talked about for the next couple of days. Especially if the Rams go all the way down and then win the Super Bowl. <laughs> what's, what's, what's wrong, man? You, just, you tired of top? Tired, man. I, tired. And I wish people would stop doing that. I feel like um, man, yeah. the man is, he's, he's done so much for the sport. And I feel like what he's, Tom people, yeah, people are just, it's the same like LeBron James effect. That's how it is everybody. People, people want to see you win. People and then get win, tired win, 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 and then they want to see they, they, they don't and, and I get, get it. That's how, that's how it is. That's sports. No, I get that, yeah. but at the same time, you have to enjoy it because let's be honest here. Tom don't got too much time left. How you might, huh? How you know? Uh, I don't know. I, I look. I I get the whole. I'm not gonna say hey, he's gonna fall off a cliff or anything like that. But I don't see nobody playing in the NFL at the age of fifty. So maybe uh, he wants to push out to like 42, uh, 43, what is that, okay? Forty-one now. Yeah. So maybe like two okay. more years. So let's say you put that. Three more years. That's plenty of time. Still. That's two more, at least okay, two more. Okay, then. That's fine. But to see a, a person. Listen, man, that's how it is in sport. Just like you get tired. Of, like, everybody used to love the Warriors. Now you're getting tired of them. You know? Yeah, like, they're, you, you just, they're cheating, though. You, you that, just that. like to root for, like, the. You know, yeah. I like to root for Remember the how, like, back then we used to have, like, the. Uh, we used to play Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. And before the match would start, you have to type in the cheat code real quick. And yeah, it'll give you. Yeah, that's what the Warriors what do did. for every game. Like, I, I don't I don't know. So. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's all. Take unfortunately, like we went one on one, and it's, it's funny because it could be zero and two or two and zero. Oh. Right. You know that's how yeah. close it was. So it was a good, it was a great weekend for football. If you're a football fan, I appreciate you enjoyed it. We had a good time. Unfortunately for the Saints and Chiefs fans, better luck next year. So we're just got to make another wager. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna keep the teams though. So. I'll stay with the Patriots. You'll stay with the Rams because that's what we'll we see. Uh, we'll see. Or um, we're just gonna have to make another wager on another uh, some other time. So, um, what else do we have for the people? Is that? I mean, anything has happened 
and sport this week. There was a hot take that we had this week. Um, I guess on big in the news. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about it, but like I said, anything sports related, we're going to talk about it. Um, uh, regarding a former NFL player who was a father and some weirdo and his daughter's window. So if you want to break it down <laughs> for the people, because that's pretty yeah, creepy. <laughs> Yeah, it's not supposed to be a funny story, but, but nevertheless, this man, this man, Tony Beckman, you know, like he's one did his house, whatever, so some dude creeping out his daughter's window. So he's like, what is this? So I like peek, whatever. So this man, like, you know, masturbating outside his daughter's window. So he decided to go have a conversation with this man, like any mature adult would. They decided to have a conversation with this man. Oh, conversation. They were talking, but. <laughs> Jeffrey Cassidy, mm -hmm. you know. Unfortunately for Mr. Cassidy. Can you show the people how the conversation went? <laughs> Can we show you? It was your face at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for Mr. Cassidy, the conversation <laughs> happened between Mr. Beckman, Fist, <laughs> and his face. <laughs> so, uh, a couple of ass whooping later, you know, <laughs> Mr. Cassidy, off, Mr. Cassidy off, uh, ended up getting... Arrested, well deserved. Hopefully, he learns lesson. You know that's our little that story man, for you. We all. I got know. Week. I don't know about you guys. I got a daughter. I know he has two. You know, so that's that's extremely that's, that's scary. Lucky man. for him, like yeah, he made it out alive. So, so um, I look just. I don't know. I, I I hope if anybody ever has that type of urge, just just something like that, that just run through your mind. Please, just just get help. Talk to somebody. Go see somebody. Let them know what's going on. It's just that's that's very that, sick. That that just um, that's, that's yeah. Sick. That just that just can't, can't happen. happen. Especially as a grown man, you're looking through like a, you know girl's window, and you just feel so violent in your own home. Like I know I have my own home. If there's something like that was to happen, you just feel like you know you can't really kind of trust where you live at. So. Please, if you have just any issues whatsoever, please just talk to somebody. Go see somebody, but, you know, it, it shouldn't have to be like that, so. And that's, that's that. That's what we got for you for the night. That's what we got for you guys, um, so. Thank you. It was, it was a great week. Uh, continue your, your weekend. With that said, um, that's that. That's that. Also, don't forget to like. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Subscribe, comment. And like you said, happy birthday to the game day. All right. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube.